Hey, what's going on folks? My name is Sky, like the big blue sky, and today I'm gonna show you some ninja strategies to turn your D7 lead finder exports into laser targeted lists of your ideal prospects. Now, for this example in specific, I'm gonna use the med spa niche. So if you don't sell the med spas, this is still applicable to you. You're just gonna have to do a little bit more work. You won't be able to just rip and copy and paste our process. You'll have to do a little bit of critical thinking, apply the same principles to your situation in specific, but either way, this should be a useful video for you to help you make your D7 lead finder list better. Okay, let's dive in. I think the best place to start here is actually by looking at just really briefly what one of the exports looks like from D7 lead finder. And so that's what this is. You're looking at a whole bunch of data. And the main thing that I want you to notice here is column F, the category column. And for context, in D7 Lead Finder, I searched for one keyword, which was med spas, um, and I got a whole bunch of other stuff that is not specifically med spas, right? And so this sort of thing might not be a problem for you and your agency or your business, but for us and one of the clients that we were working with, uh, this was a problem because when we would send prospecting emails or campaigns to these lists and they didn't have further refinement, we would get a lot of responses, but a lot of the responses that would come through were businesses that either weren't uh, exactly a fit of what we were looking for, or they didn't have the money, which was a big part of the criteria here. Because if you think about it, you look at it, you know, you've got like acupuncture clinics. There's like, I wanna say a, a big one in here is like massage spa, or massage therapist, and uh, the agency that we were working with, or just any agency in general, if you think about it, um, for the most part, you wanna work with companies that have the money for marketing. And a lot of these folks that run these you know, massage businesses and a lot of the other businesses that were coming through in these searches, they were sole proprietors or they were smaller businesses. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but if you're an agency, you would much rather work with a luxury, high-end med spa that's established. They've got a team, they've got money for marketing as opposed to these individual sole proprietors. So we had to find a better way to further refine and filter these lists down. And what we did was actually it was pretty simple, but it was effective and I wanted to share it with you guys today because um, I think it's gonna help you think through how can I refine my D7 lead finder list without having to go website by website by website by website across thousands and thousands. Like this list has already had some work done to it, but it's still you know a couple thousand leads long. So um, you know going through this one by one would be a beast for an individual or even a, a virtual assistant team, you're just gonna get a lot more efficient if you've got a different process in place. So okay, before we dive in, another little bit of quick context on D7 Lead Finder. So this is their pricing page. Um, there's a lot of advice out there on like what tier you should get. I'm gonna tell you just my opinion, this isn't right or wrong, it's just what I find useful. I prefer the professional tier. Um, you get a lot more data with it that's useful, so you can see there's a couple of key pieces that are missing. One of the main things that is useful, especially for sorting these lists, is the category filter. So um, it's what you were looking at here where it's like telling me the specific category and type of business, which it just saves a whole bunch of time when you're trying to sort these down and figure out who should we actually um, include in our lists? Um, this is like step one. So let's just dive in and let me show you what this process looks like because the first thing that we're gonna use is actually the category. And if you're unfamiliar with this tool, what I'm using here to complete this process is clay. Now, um, either way, if you don't have clay, you can still accomplish like 90% of what I'm gonna show you here just in a Google Sheet. Um, you can get pretty much all the same stuff done, but if you do use Clay and you use D7 Lead Finder, you're gonna love this process because it accomplishes the entire list filtering and sorting process without using any Clay credits. So it's a really great way to automate the list filtering process without it costing you a whole bunch of credits in Clay. So okay, step one actually is using this category filter and Essentially what we did is we just picked the categories that actually fit exactly what we were looking for. And so um, we we're looking for medical spas and then another kind of similar um, tangential type of business off of that are uh, surgeons. They're typically higher ticket services is kind of the implication there. And so um, they're gonna have more established businesses with more money and so they can still fall into this bucket of the medical spas and 
still be a good fit for our prospecting campaigns. So step number one, filtering by these keywords. Now it's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job. I'd say it's like, you know, 90% on the money. And after this step one, you've essentially got your list split into two different versions. You've got med spas and plastic surgeons or whoever your niche is, and then not whoever your niche is. And now the interesting thing is with these companies that that don't specifically have the category that you're looking for. So you can see day spots kind of similar, maybe that would be a good fit, but then you've also got a lot of other stuff in here that may or may not be a fit. And so what we wanted to do is find this programmatic way that we could find the needle in the proverbial haystack here and still find all the companies that fit the criteria that we're looking for and have the money to invest into marketing services. And so as we were trying to solve this problem, one thing that we found that was interesting that we realized was that a lot of these companies in their business name, they will self-identify as a day spa or a med spa. And so the very next thing that we do here in Clay is we run an action to find specific keywords in the company name or in the business name as D7 Lead Finder presents it. So as you can see here, we've got all these different keywords and it's searching for those keywords in the company name. So if you don't have Clay, you can do this in a sheet. And if you're like, I don't know how to write a formula to do this in a sheet, you don't have to have Excel skills anymore. You have ChatGPT. So just go into ChatGPT and say, hey, write me a formula for you know Google Sheets or Excel that finds these keywords in this column. And then boom, it spits it out for you. And this will actually, it'll yield some pretty good results. So let me change this up here. So as you can see, we got 62 companies in here and Atlantis, medical spa and then let's look at how they were actually categorized so look at all these these are not med spas or surgeons these are very different classifications but they still will self-identify in their name as a medical spa and if we take a look at one of these companies they're they seem like a pretty good fit i mean like their website looks good they've got a bunch of different services that um, would indicate that they have higher ticket services and we could even you know potentially look at their team and see do they actually have a built out team is this a more established company yeah and look they've got a full team so this is someone who successfully was found through this simple keyword exercise that otherwise wouldn't have been placed into our list because they weren't categorized in the way that we were looking for by d7 lead finder and there's a ton of examples of these so the final step here, I don't actually think you can do with Clay. If someone else knows how to do this outside of Clay, just in a sheet, let me know. That'd be pretty cool. But um, I don't think that you can. Uh, and so the next thing that we did is we noticed that a lot of these companies that um, still had higher ticket services and were a fit, they would have special web pages on their site dedicated to these higher ticket services. And so what we were able to do is we were able to scrape the site map for all of these websites and then look for sub page URLs that have these specific higher ticket service keywords like Botox or <laughs> lip flip, laser hair, injectables. And so we're pulling in all of the, the, the site map and then looking for specific keywords in the URL within the company website for these higher ticket services that would indicate that, hey, they're probably a little bit more established. They're able to deliver services like this and, that, and thus they can afford marketing. So if you're a Clay user, you know that Get Keyword and Get Site Map are both free actions and it really does a great job to refine these lists so you can go through and you can completely sort through a massive d7 lead finder list with pretty much zero credits to find who are the companies that we even want to try and find contacts for in the first place and then if you don't have clay you can do the bulk majority of this stuff other than maybe the final kind of a little bit more technical piece in a google spreadsheet and you're going to get 90 percent of the way there anyways but that is all I got for you today. If you found this video valuable, please hit the like and subscribe button below. It helps the channel out a lot. But other than that, I wish you the best of luck. It was good to see you here and I will see you in the next video.